my channel. So, Malibu called me up today and saying that I needed to clean her cage because she's at her friend's house today. And she said she would pay me $2. And I was like, that's such a great deal. And I've never cleaned her cage before, but I thought it would be super exciting if I brought you guys along. And I love Larry, so I'll do anything for her. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take Larry out so she doesn't get hurt. So Malibu provided me with like this little Petco cage that I'm just going to put in her temporarily. So let's put her in. cleaning the cage I wanted to do a little disclaimer just saying that I know probably some of you guys are upset that I do have a heat rock but just letting you know I've had this gecko for a very long time and I've never had any issues and when I woke up I've never seen her turn into a burnt chicken nugget let's get on to the video so the next thing I have to do is I have to take everything out first let me turn off the light all right, as you can see, there are some like dead crickets and stuff and a little bit of caca from last week. So we need to remove all this caca out. I have this in her cage. Make sure we have everything out. And just letting you know, I did boil these to make sure that there was no germs inside of them from the ocean. All right, so now I'm gonna take my trash can and empty out all the calcium powder so we could replace it with some new ones. And now we have to go rinse these outside. All right, so now I have to rinse everything off to get all the bad yucky germs off. All right, so now I have to wipe off the caca. And I don't use any soap for this because I don't want any chemicals to get into Larry's cage. So now I have to go get a new one. All right, I got my rags, and now the first thing I'm gonna dry off is this one. And I need to dry this off really well, or else the mold is gonna get on here, because this is real wood. And the rest will just air dry. And for this, I'm gonna use a blow dryer, because this is gonna take a long time. So we don't need that anymore. So now I'm going to set this off to the side so that we can clean what is really important, which is this, because we don't want this to steam. But we can also water the plants with this. And we need to dry this up real nice. Okay, now we're going to go inside and go use the blow dryer to dry off the mat. Okay. So Malibu's had Larry for about five years now because she had her when she was in fourth grade and she's 14 years old now in eighth grade so that means Larry is kind of old but they live for around like 15 years so we've got another 10 more years to go and hopefully by then I can keep making two dollars by cleaning her cage. So what I like to do is I like to blow dry this because it just makes it a lot faster. We can also just leave it outside, but look, there's so much water in this. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here and put this succulent. So I have to do this on the cool setting because one time I did it on the hot setting and then it burned right through this and she had to buy a new one and she blamed it on me. Oh, how rude. Ugh. And I've been saying Malibu a lot, and if you're new to this channel, just letting you know Malibu is my cousin. I'm going to put this on high. Alright, now I have to do the other side. And my favorite part about doing this is you get to see the little water. 
water droplets coming out of it. Alright guys, that's good enough because my arms are getting tired. Alright guys, so this is my favorite part. I get to decorate it and make it look all nice and I have to put it all together. Look, I didn't even tell Leary's excited. Okay, obviously I'm going to have to put this on bottom. And look how clean it is. There is no caca in it. All right. And I have to go fill it up with some water. I'm going to go get the water. Okay, got the water. Put this back in and look, it's all dry, but there is a couple of wet spots. All right, so I have to put this on like this. And let's make sure it won't fall off. You have this, which I'm going to fill with some calcium. And this is the type of calcium that Malibu use. Okay, it has vitamin D3, which I think would be good for me too. Maybe I should try some. It's not very yummy. I wouldn't eat it. So what Malibu does with this bowl is when she gives some mealworms or crickets, she'll use the tongs and rub them in there. And now, I need some decorations. So these are some beautiful rocks that me and Malibu found at Catalina Beach. Look how pretty this one is too. I like to put them around here. And now, put the heat rock in. All right, so now we have to see if Larry approves. I'm kind of nervous. Come on, Larry. You excited? Look, this is all for you. Go in it. I think she deserves a snack. Look, Larry's already in this cave. I think he wants little wax worms. All right, guys, so here are some wax worms. Larry loves these. So this is the first time that Malibu actually I bought her these. I think he wants another one. Oh, he's so beautiful. I'm gonna give him one more. Oh, look how beautiful Larry is. And now I'm gonna put the light on so you can see the final part. geckos eat their shedded skin it's actually pretty disgusting did you know that they store all their fat and nutrients in their tails that's why fat of their leopard geckos tail is not fat enough because that's where they store all the protein and stuff did you know when they're hunting they'll shake their tail and did you know that their tail can also fall off did you know that leopard geckos can also recognize your voice and they can hear and they have little holes in your head it's kind of weird and did you know that geckos can go two weeks without food? That's pretty insane. Did you know that they can scream or yell? It sounds like this. <coughs> Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like these, then definitely check out our channel. And hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys next Tuesday. Bye!